At Tesla's Gigafactory, new leaked footage of the upcoming 2026 Tesla Model 2 has revealed what might be the most groundbreaking look yet into this long-awaited car. What we've seen inside this prototype is nothing short of shocking even. For the most dedicated Tesla fans, just a few months after Elon Musk confidently claimed the car would be ready in many U.S. cities by the end of the year, this leak proves the Model 2 isn't just another Tesla, it's a complete revolution in both vehicle design and production. While most videos and reports only show surface-level spy shots, today we're diving deep into the engineering secrets that make this car unlike any Tesla before it. This isn't information you'll find on Tesla's official website or even in mainstream news. If you're ready to discover what legacy automakers and rival Chinese EV brands don't want you to know, then you're in the right place. We're not just chasing views, we're building a community of 135,759 informed subscribers. So, turn on the bell, subscribe, and get ready for the real story. Let's begin with one of the most surprising technical details, the wheelbase. In. This leaked image, Tesla's engineers have placed the front and rear wheels extremely close to the edges of the car body. This leaves almost no space for the suspension system to handle forward or backward forces. At first glance, it looks like a bold design choice, but in truth, it's evidence of a total shift in how Tesla is building cars. When we measure the gap between the front axle and the front of the car, it's only about 540 to 580 millimeters. The back has an even tighter measurement of 490 to 520 millimeters. Now compare that to the Model 3, which has about 855 millimeters at the front and 835 millimeters at the rear. That's a reduction of nearly 300 millimeters on each end. In car design, cutting even 50 millimeters is a big deal, but 300 millimeters? That breaks the rules of traditional automotive engineering? Most suspension systems need 700 to 800 millimeters between the axle and the car's nose to make room for key parts like joints, mounts, crash boxes, and safety buffers. So how is Tesla doing it? The answer is gigacasting. It's just like with the Cybertruck. Tesla is integrating both the suspension system and drivetrain directly into large single-piece castings for the front and rear of the vehicle. That means no. More separate subframes or mounting structures. The motor, suspension, and even crash components are all part of the same solid metal block. This approach is something usually seen only in high-end race cars like those at Le Mans not in everyday electric vehicles. It also suggests the Model 2 fits perfectly into the A plus or B hatchback segment with a turning radius of under 5 meters. That makes it ideal for tight city streets in Europe and the US. Could this be the world's first affordable EV using racing style drivetrain casting for daily city driving? Drop the word wheelbase in the comments if you think this isn't just a design, it's a whole new way of building cars. Now let's move to the next big reveal, the rear roof line. In the leaked image, if you focus on the section from the B pillar to the back of the car, you'll notice a major change in Tesla's design approach. Unlike the smooth continuous curve seen on the Model 3 and Model Y, this prototype's roof line breaks sharply at the C pillar. The angle between the upper roof and the rear window appears to be around 20 to 25 degrees. It's not just for looks, it's a clear sign of a new kind of modular design. Normally, Tesla curves the roof in one smooth arc to boost aerodynamics. But this design has almost no curve after the C-pillar. It looks like the rear roof is a completely separate block, with a visible gap of 55 to 70 millimeters based on the size. Of the 17-inch wheels in the image, that gap suggests the rear roof isn't permanently attached, but removable or swappable. This could be the first time Tesla is applying Elon Musk's idea of a modular roof system, which he hinted at back in. 2021. With this setup, the same body can support multiple roof types. A base version might come with a cheap, laminated metal roof costing around $85 to $110. A mid-level version could use a full glass roof price between $320 to $380, and a top-tier version could feature a solar panel roof producing 180 to 210 watts, costing $600 to $750. Swapping out one roof for another would only require four to six attachment points, a single power cable, and a data plug. 
It's a design similar to how the Cybertruck roof tent is mounted fast, simple, and tool-friendly. The roof could even include a removable spoiler, where the base model goes without, and the premium version adds one to lower drag and improve. Aerodynamics. This design means Tesla can use the same body frame across different trim levels, cutting costs for entry-level buyers while boosting profits on premium models. If you think Tesla is turning roofs into upgradable modules like smartphone cases, drop the phrase rear roof line in the comments. This isn't just smart, it's the future of car customization, but Tesla didn't stop there. Take a closer. Look at the rear quarter panels. It's just behind the left rear wheel. You'll spot two vertical panel lines that clearly separate the back section from the main body of the car. No previous Tesla model, including the Cybertruck, has shown this kind of panel layout. This signals the most ambitious manufacturing strategy we've seen from Tesla yet. Traditionally, in cars like the Model 3 or Y, the entire rear area tail lights, wheel arches, bumpers made from one large stamped and welded piece. But with the Model 2, Tesla has broken this section into at least two separate modules. The first is the lower rear module, which includes the bumper, tail lights, maybe even the cooling vents or reverse sensor systems. This piece appears to be about 1,350 to 1,400 millimeters wide and 400 to 450 millimeters tall. When here's the exciting part, it can be taken off in under 15 minutes using just six to eight fasteners and one light connector. Replacing this lower panel is also far cheaper. A plastic version might cost between $120 and $180, a version with built-in. LED lights like the ones on the Model 3 Highland might run $300 to $350. The second part is the upper rear module, which includes the trunk frame, rear window, spoiler, and camera systems. This part stretches around 750 to 800 millimeters from the C-pillar to the trunk's edge. It can be removed by lifting the rear window and hinge again, in a way that mirrors modern European hatchbacks. This modular system allows Tesla to offer basic Models with no spoiler and luxury ones with advanced aerodynamic features and cameras that help with full self-driving. This design method is called service-centric panelization. A. Strategy usually found in McLaren supercars or electric trucks like the Ford iTransit or Rivian. UDV. According to U.S. safety data, about 47% of city crashes at low speeds involve getting rear-ended. On average, repairing a Model 3's rear-end costs about $1,842. But with this new panel setup, repairs could drop to under $400. That's huge for buyers on a budget, especially in countries like the US or those in Europe. That was easy. Panels, Tesla is making a car that doesn't just cost less to build, costs less to fix. That gives it a major advantage over Chinese brands like BYD and MG, who still use welded body frames that are far more expensive to repair. With the Model 2, Tesla is not just revolutionizing car design, they're rethinking the entire ownership experience from factory floor to post-crash repair. This is Tesla's vision of a true mass-market electric vehicle and it might just change the industry forever.